a few of the responses I've got exposing the mark of the beast, the vaccine. This is from family. Um, you're possessed. If you don't stop talking about this stuff, I'm going to block you. I don't believe you're hearing directly from God. You're driving everybody crazy with this stuff. I don't... Yeah. Um, are you a witch? Warlock? Okay. So that's some of the things for the vaccine. I'm just running through a few. God had me write some down. Responses to the gospel. Either people immediately receive what I'm saying or they don't say anything because it's affecting their heart. Um, and they just maybe look down or it's just like really affecting their heart. So then I let the Holy Spirit take over and I walk away. Responses to the gospel. Either they receive it or I get this. As soon as I mentioned Jesus or God, I've literally had like this lady. I talked to her in the restaurant, a husband and a wife. God led me to. And um, it was like as soon as I mentioned God, it was like, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, immediately, that was literally the verbal response. Okay. God led me to somebody today just to show me, you know. Another guy opens his window. He opens it only up a, like a quarter of the way. I'm like, sir, could you roll your window down a little bit more so I could talk to you? And he's kind of freaked out, of course, which is fine. I understand it's being cautious. I said, um, I said, well, God wants me to talk to you. Uh, God has a message for you real quick. And immediately, oh, no, no, no. And, and he, so he started rolling up his window real fast. And I said, Jesus loves you, you know, real loud, so he could at least hear that. Um, I've had people scream in my face. I have had death threats. I've told, people have told me, oh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a murder scene out here. I calmly said, no, it's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, I get a lot of different responses from a lot of people about the messages that God will give me to give to somebody else, which is mainly just preaching the gospel, telling people Jesus loves them and warning about the mark of the beast. Um, it's important to listen to God because he had me preach the gospel to a 93-year-old man who by the time I was done, told him if he believed in his heart, because he wasn't all there mentally, but I told him if he believed that Jesus Christ died for his sins um, in his heart, and he, he prayed to him that he would be saved. This man was not very coherent, but I said if you believe that Jesus rose and died for your sins, and you confess that, you'll be saved. And he said, I'll try that. 